Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. This is the pistol length shelf from Tactical Walls, and it's the first chance that I had to see that I don't have to be James Bond or have the budget of MI6 to have a really, really cool way of storing a firearm that's immediately accessible while still keeping it out of the eyes of thieves and guests that I have in my house. Technic Walls is this really cool company, not just because of the products that they make, but the people that are behind it. My introduction to them was at Iraq Veteran 8888's YouTuber shoot last October. And the thing that really impressed me was not, not just the products, but their work ethic. They were the one vendor, the one vendor that I'm aware of at least, out of all the vendors that were there, that came the day after everything was over to help clean up. And right there, that made me a big fan of theirs. And then, after they sent me this pistol length shelf and a full length mirror and insert system, I had a chance to use these for a while, I became an even bigger fan of everything that they do. And that's why Tactical Walls is what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. Tactical Walls makes quick access storage that functions as ordinary furniture and blends with most styles of decor. This is their pistol length shelf, which matches perfectly with our fireplace mantle, yet it allows me to keep a holstered Glock within easy reach of our front door. Made in the USA of poplar and pine, the shelf is available in two lengths, four different colors, and two different trim styles. It quickly mounts to any flat wall with the supplied hardware as long as you can anchor it in at least two studs. Metal scrolls support the shelf from the top, and additional screws can be driven through the back of the shelf directly into your studs. Technical Walls uses really cool hidden latches to hold the compartment closed. Magnetic keys pull the latches open once a slight lift takes the pressure off them. Once the shelf is open, a gas piston buffers the hidden storage compartment as it drops to reveal its polyester foam interior. The foam is easily cut, so you can customize a compartment to retain up to 10 pounds of gear open or closed. You can even leave the foam out completely for additional volume, though I wouldn't do that with firearms or anything else that would easily slide out of the compartment as it opens. There are all sorts of ways that you can configure this, but I wanted to try something different, something I didn't see before. I wanted to see if I could get this foam to hold my everyday carry Glock Gen 4 G23 in my inside the waistband holster. It's a Comtac, and I absolutely love this. I've been using this for, I don't know, four or five years. And with some judicious cutting and some trial and error, I was able to do this. This to me actually makes sense to be the, the best way to store a firearm for ready access because it's really actually gonna be rare that someone's gonna crash in your house and you're gonna have the time to get in a safe, pull a gun out and then go to town defending yourself. That's Hollywood. I don't think that's the way most of the stuff will ever be able to, to go down. Uh, this is where most of the time you might suspect something is off or for me, I want to be armed when I answer the door because of where, where we are. It's not an urban environment. It's actually the opposite, which means that people can come here and feel like they have a little bit more of a chance to do something wrong than in other areas. So I want to be armed when I answer the door and this allows me to do it in a way that's non-threatening, in a way that has the pistol at the ready, but actually safely tucked inside the holster, safer for me. And at the same time, I could just pull this out, throw the holster if I need to use it immediately. So I think that this is, this turned out to be a really cool way of doing it. And I've been, I've been using this since uh, March. That makes four months, four, four and a half months and it's been great. I have a place for an extra mag and also a flashlight. Uh, I usually carry one in my pocket, not this one, but that way I have a weapon light, uh, a handheld light if I need one separately. This is an area where another pistol is going to go. I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm going to put a Ruger 2245 with my new dead air mask that's in uh, NFA jail right now. And there's plenty of room to do that and actually even have an extra mag or two in here as well. But I will say that after having this short, this uh, pistol length shelf for a while uh, and seeing how much wall space that I have, I wish I got the rifle length shelf. So it's like, it's like any kind of gun storage 
always go bigger than you think you need. And uh, if I had it to do over again, I would have done the rifle length shelf. But this actually, as you can see, has plenty of room for two pistols, extra mags, lights, that kind of thing. Technical Walls also sent me their 1450M bundle, which is a formal mirror that fits over two inserts mounted between studs in your wall. This requires you to cut a hole in the wall face, which while intimidating at first glance, really isn't that big a deal as long as you take your time. I've got a separate video showing my entire installation of this kit linked in the video description. The mirror frame is poplar, and it's available in three sizes and six different finishes. The mirror is backed with a security panel so that accidental breakage of the mirror doesn't reveal the items hidden behind it. The mirror slides on very smooth glides and it's locked with the same magnetic latch as the shelves. You can configure the mirror for either right or left sided opening simply by moving the latch between two ready-made cutouts in the frame. The inserts are ABS plastic and they're also available in three different styles. Black, carbon fiber, and distressed wood. Loop fabric lines the back as well as the bottoms of the inserts and the included accessory shelf. This protects the finish of your firearms while allowing you to use any hook-backed accessory to organize your gear. This is the 1450M bundle. It's a large mirror case over two sets of inserts. And I find it actually opens a whole lot easier than the shelf because it's really hard to get the position wrong. You just throw the magnet up there and if it sticks, the latch is gonna open. It slides open very smoothly. This is not only American made, but it's, it's made with really, really high quality components. This is not Ikea furniture by any stretch. It's really, really good stuff. Of course, the, the word tactical on tactical walls leads you to believe that this is designed for holding firearms. And that's going to be my purpose with it, just like the shelf I have upstairs. But that's not a hole you can use this for. You can use this for passports, other kinds of papers that a lot of people might keep in a safe, but they don't necessarily need the full protection of the safe. This is hiding in plain sight. When this is closed, this is a very nice piece of furniture. I feel bad that this is sitting in an ante room in my basement when this could easily be in my living room if there weren't other issues with installation. But basically, this is going to go in any wall space that you have standard stud spacing or wider as, as this is. I actually had to shim this out. And you'll see, I've got a separate video on how I installed this that I have linked in the video description below. And you can see I had to, I had to shim this out most of the time you're not going to need to do that. But as long as there aren't any power boxes in the way, you can put this in, in between any stud space and any standard wall. But this was the best location for me because for me, the priority was location of having the firearms ready when I needed them. And it wasn't where I wanted to put this, this piece of furniture. But your priorities may be different. One of the things to keep in mind is and this is one of the things that I love about the people at Tactical Walls. They're, they're just great people, but they, they know they're not trying to sell this as a safe. It's not a gun safe. The security is in that it's hidden. The security is in that you have to break it in order to get at whatever's inside. But they will tell you, you have to think about whether or not a wooden case is going to fit into your security plan because anybody that knows that there's firearms in there can get in there with a screwdriver and some time or with a hammer. You know, that includes <laughs> thieves, that includes a hormonal teenager. You need to really think through what are the risks of having your firearms or whatever you're gonna hide in a case like this with the people who might know that something is actually in there. You do not need this magnet to get into Anything that Tactical Walls currently makes, as long as you're willing to destroy it in the process of getting into it. This magnet is so you could get in and out without breaking it into pieces. But in this family, in my house, I absolutely have perfect use for this. And uh, I really love it. Wait till you see it with the guns in it. Now you see it the way I have it currently configured. And this right here, my 1022 takedown, was my number one purpose for actually getting this full size insert and mirror. I have chickens and I've got possums that occasionally manage to get into the pen, get in the coop, especially at night. And this is what I use to take care of them. Doesn't bother the neighbors, doesn't bother me. I don't have to worry about herring protection. 
And I wanted this to be much quicker to access because when my chickens start sounding like they're being attacked, I don't want to sit there and fumble with a safe combination and actually go to where my safe is physically in my house. It's, it's a little bit more difficult to get to. So this makes it very easy for me to grab this, run out the back door and, and go save my chickens. This is for larger four-legged problems or two-legged critter control. I've got number four buckshot loaded up in this and I have my Enforce weapon mounted light off of it. First of all, I had to take it off because it wouldn't fit. The, there wasn't enough space in the insert for it. But then I realized actually there's genius in, in the problem here because I can use this as a handheld light. Whether I'm grabbing my Gen 4 G17 that I've got attached here with a magnet or my 1022 takedown or I could slap it right on the forend of my 590A1 and it's going to work for all of those things. It's, it's one solution for all of those things. And of course, I up in this, uh, the, the drawer area, I have got, or the shelf area, I've got a little Kydex holster because I'll be grabbing this, say the doorbell rings and I want to run up and I, I'm not, I don't have uh, something tucked into my waistband already. I'm not going to go answer the door standing there with my G17 out and I'm not gonna stick it in my pants without a holster. Other people do that, I'm not okay with that. So I can grab, grab the holster, grab this, stick it in my waistband, pull my shirt over it, answer the door. The other cool thing here is that because everything is Velcro, anything with a Velcro back will, will stick there. And so not only can I place this two-man carrier from Vanquist Tough Built gear anywhere I want, I can actually take the whole thing with me, stick it in my pocket, and I don't have to fumble around for finding one mag or two mags out of a stack of them up in the shelf area. And I think that's pretty cool. And you can actually, many, many different companies make inserts like this, not just Vanquist. Blackhawk makes a whole bunch of them, there, and there are others. And so it's very, very flexible. This isn't just something that you are limited to using tactical walls accessories with. You can use many, many different manufacturers' accessories. And this is not only a really cool place <laughs> to store things in plain sight, hide things in plain sight, like firearms, but it's also a really impressive piece of furniture when you have it closed up. That is cool every time. There's no question, there's a huge cool factor in everything that Tactical Walls makes. And if you think this is cool, if you think that mirror sliding over that hidden insert is cool, you need to check out their TV cabinet. It's huge and you push, it's remote controlled and motorized. You push one button and your TV slides up out of the back of it. You push another button and this giant gun rack, like metal pegboard gun rack, slides up out of the front. It's very much Men in Black, straight out of the movie Men in Black. It's really, really cool. They make some really neat products. They also make some that are relatively inexpensive. They've got a wall clock. It's very, very nicely built. You don't have to cut a hole in the wall in order to, in order to install it. And you can hold a pistol and some extra magazines in it. They have a tissue box, same thing. Extremely well designed, extremely well made. And you've got your tissues, actual tissues on top. And underneath you flip it over and there's a place for a pistol. Everything is designed with the, the same purpose in mind. Hiding in plain sight. Nothing's designed to protect your stuff from an actual attack like a safe would or, or from fire or anything like that. That's, that's not the purpose of any of this stuff. But it's all really cool stuff that can fit into many people's security plans as it can ours. If you want to learn more about the stuff from Tactical Walls, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash twangandbang.net. That's spelled out D-O-T-N-E-T -E to see what I'm doing in between these videos here on Full 30 and YouTube. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.